Hi everybody, this is Fisher Coder here. Today we are going through another tree problem, lead code 101, symmetric tree. Okay, before we start coding, do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're going to get a notification instantly. That would help a lot with the YouTube algorithm and help fellow CS students and software engineers to better prepare coding interviews. All right, with that said, let's dive deep into today's problem. Symmetric tree. What is a symmetric tree? Just uh, based on common sense, the tree is going to be symmetric, right? So given a binary tree, it's asking us to check whether it is a mirror of itself, which means symmetric around its center. So given this tree, it is symmetric. See, one is the root node, so it mirrors itself for one. Two and two. Um, um, the root nodes left and right children, they are equal, right? So they do mirror. And continue, so three equals to three. On the very left side, this um, leaf node is equal to the very right side of the leaf node. And then four equals to four, and these two correct positions. This is what means it's a symmetric tree. All right, uh, that's a good example. The wrong example is looking like this, this one. This one, up until the second layer of the tree, it's symmetric. But here, from starting the third layer, three, this three is not symmetric to this one. If it's symmetric, it's, it's going to be this three is going to be on the left side, right? And if this, or if this three is on this left side, and this one doesn't change, it's going to be symmetric. So we basically understand the root node's left side must exist if this right side's right side exists and the, the values are going to be the same. That means this is a symmetric tree. All right, still a very straightforward uh, solution is going to be we used recursive call to solve this problem. We just basically check uh, whether so first, uh, we check whether the root node is going to be null or not. If it's null, um, we're just going to return two, which is also one of the exit condition of the, the recursive function. If after we go through that, we're going to check the left sides, the left sides left children with the right side right children, to see whether they do exist, and if they do exist, to see whether they are whether if they are equal, and then if they do equal, we'll, do, we'll have to check the left size right children with the right size left children whether they are equal if they are both equal and or the if they do exist and they do have equal values or structures well and structures we're going to return true that's the algorithm now let's put them into code so first we check whether the root equals to now if this is the case we're just going to return true and then if this if we get past this, we can check if root uh, left. So in this case, uh, it's impossible to use uh, one method. We can, uh, in this case, we can create a helper function to help us solve the problem. We can still call call this is symmetric in Java. It's just uh, called overloading. Um, or overriding the function. I don't recall exactly the Java, uh, the Java terminology for this. We will use the root left and the root right. We'll just check. So it's going to, uh, we'll have to write this function from scratch, which is fine. Here like this, tree node, tree node, We'll call it left, tree node right, and then we'll check here. This is why we need to have that check. Mm, let's see. So now we'll do what we will do is see if this is very similar to the one that we walked through the other time, which is called the same tree. So here basically we're going to check whether left and right they are the same, right? If they are the same, we're going to return true, which means this is symmetric. So what we're going to do is if left equals now or right equals now, if either one of them is now, we'll, we'll just return 
say return left equals right. This is uh, one of the base conditions or the exit conditions of the recursion call. And then if if both of them are not null, so then we can check if left val equals right val. If they are not equal, if they are not equal, we'll just return false, right? And after we get through this, we still need to check return. So as I just said, we, we're going to check what? So suppose we are here. Now left is at two, right? This is the root node, we check here. This is the left node, this is the right node. So we're going to check these two are equal. So we get past here, right? We get past here. And then we're going to check the left node's left. Compare this node with this node. It's going to be left, left, with right, right, right? This is what we're going to check, whether these two are equal. Say so this case, this one is now, this one is not now, which is this case. It's going to return false. We break out, right? And then the same as for the same tree problem, we're going to check here. The left side's right children with the right side's left children, we'll have to check this one, this one. Compare it with this one, whether these two are equal, right? So we're going to check here whether left sides, uh, left sides, right children, compare it with right sides, left children. Check whether these two are still the same. If they are not the same, we're just going to return false. That's it. And that basically is the algorithm. I think it covers all cases. Okay, let's hit submit and see. All right, it's accepted. Uh, yeah, very straightforward question if we do it um, um, using the recursive way. Um, yeah, that basically concludes um, the tutorial for this um, problem. Um, of course, you can do it um, iteratively, which we're going to cover in a future tutorial. But um, this is a good test to see whether you can basically understand the recursion the recursive concept, which is a very powerful concept in computer science. It solves a lot of problems, divide and conquer. Uh, if you like this video, do me a favor, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Good luck.